far one of my favorite gymnastics maneuvers. It requires so much body awareness, agility, coordination, as well as upper body pulling and upper body pressing strength. Have no fear if you don't have all of that or if you haven't tried ring muscle ups yet, we have a ton of modifications for you as always. And this one is the ring muscle up transition drill. Now I know I said drill, but you can absolutely do this in a workout because you can make it a little bit harder, you can make it a little bit easier, and you are going to be using your muscles when we're going through this. This isn't just a technique drill, this is something that's also going to be using you know, your upper back muscles when you're pulling in the ring row, the modified ring row, and then in your chest and triceps as you're finishing out. Um, and it's also going to test out your stabilizer muscles as you're in that full ring support when you're held up on top of the rings, elbows, obliques, and then you are going to be using all those tiny stabilizer muscles. So if you are one that can get into that ring support and you can hold it um, for a second or two and you've got a couple ring rows in your bag, cool, you can do this. Um, now a couple things that we need to do before we even get started with the drill, we need to adjust the ring heights. You'll see here, these are at the normal ring row height when your feet are under, the horizontal ring row if you will. Normal height for those. So I'm standing next to it, my elbow is at about 90, my hand and my forearm fly right through. That is a good height for this. Next, we need to talk about your false grip. Normally, we grip the rings like this, with our hands directly underneath the ring or the pull-up bar. Now for this, we need to think strict gymnastics. So what's called a strict, or I'm sorry, what's called a false grip, is we're going to put our, uh, our wrist directly on the ring. So think about karate chopping the rings with your wrist. And then you're going to wrap your fingers around so you'll notice your forearm is going to be in a, uh, a constantly flexed state throughout this drill. It's going to get grippy, but it's going to make you a lot better, so just do it. Um, so we've got our false grip here. The last thing you'll know, if you've got a good false grip, you're going to be able to give yourself a fist bump the entire time. So knuckles are going to be together. Now I said modified ring row. So we're going to go from a ring row to a dip to a support. The, all of those are going to be a little bit modified here. So the modified ring row, normally I tell you to pull your, the rings up to your chest or to your shoulders. For this, we're gonna to pull towards the center of your body. So think about pulling towards your sternum, towards the uh, center in the bottom of your rib cage. And then once we get into the bottom of that dip position, we're going to use our thumbs. We're gonna use our thumbs to trace the bottom of our rib cage or trace your chest. It's probably something I'm gonna be screaming at you guys a lot about, trace your chest. We're going to get into the bottom of that dip position. Now, just like our normal strict uh, dips, all we're going to do from here is aggressively extend those elbows and then keep them locked out for that support up top. So again, ring row to dip to support. They all just have a slight modification for this drill. So let's go ahead and grab our false grip. We've got our knuckles together. Now, how do we start this? We're not going to lean straight back. We're actually going to let our knees go forward. We're going to get way up on those toes. And then we're going to lean that upper body back. Now, you can see my knuckles are together. I'm going to pull the rings up to my sternum, or down to my sternum. I'm going to pull my sternum up to the rings. Now from here, trace the chest. And now I'm in the bottom of that dip. Now from here, you can use your feet if you have to. Go through that ring dip up into the support. So I'll show you one at full speed here. Now, a couple of things that we need to, uh, to think about. We're keeping that false grip on the rings as we go down into the bottom of the ring row, and then as we pull our sternum up, and it's not until we get into that ring dip that we can actually relax our forearms a little bit. So make sure that those forearms are ready to go. This is gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit grippy. Um, next, let's make sure that we're finishing out the dip. So don't completely take your feet off the ground if you can't get that full strict ring dip. We're not just doing this. We wanna make sure that we reach full range of motion. That's the purpose of these drills is to get all the way through the range of motion. So if you need to jump to give yourself um, you know, enough uh, assistance to get all the way up there, that's perfectly fine. Now, how do we make these easier? How do we make them harder? Like I just touched on it. Use your feet as much as you need to, but just don't overdo it. So if, say for example, we have three reps in the workouts. So you're gonna go through three of the ring muscle up transition drills. Don't really just jump out of the bottom and then jump straight up to the supported position without even going through the bottom of a dip. So don't do something like this. Let's make it hard for yourself. That's why we're going through a drill because you don't have the full movement ready. Um, 
You can also do the opposite. You can actually make it harder for yourself. So let's say you're one, you've got the stability, but you don't quite have the strength to get through, say, the dip portion. So we can go through that ring row, get into the dip, we can jump up, hold that support, and then have a good three second negative uh, in the descent. So find out what your sticking point is, and then you know make something a little bit harder, make something a little bit easier, whatever it is, let's make sure we're using the same muscles. Now let's say it's more of a coordination thing. You don't quite have it on the rings, but you have the stability, you have the strength to get through it. We can actually go with an L-sit strict muscle up. So the rings are gonna be in the same position here. Let's find that false grip. And what we're gonna do is try to utilize our feet as little as possible through the row and through the dip into that full support. And then of course, you can lower yourself back down and reset. So this is something that just like ring rows and just like dips, we can all make it a little bit harder, make it a little bit easier for us, and we can find a good modification for where we are at our level of fitness. Do not let ring muscle ups prevent you from coming in for a workout. As always, we've got tons of modifications. This is a great one and a different way for you to play on the rings. I highly encourage, if you don't know how to do it, if this video didn't help you, come find me. Talk to Mike, Scotty, Annie, Jordy. We will help you out. Can't wait to see you guys trying this one in the gym. Get after it, get better. See you next time.